tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! There's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it, and it says number 22, Lengua. Card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Aha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. It's Lola's jacket. Poor Lola. If I only had her camera or that film, I could really get Nick. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Thirty-six? That number's not even part of my system, Manny. And I don't think I'd let somebody check an old rusty anchor back here anyway. Rusty Anchor. Manny, I didn't know you were familiar with my early work. I usually don't do the old stuff, but I'll swing this one just for you. Wind pierces my hull. An iceberg, a needle, sweet, whispered nothings. Sail tonight, a storm. This deathbed harbor by love's rusty anchor. Forever moored. I'm not sure what that means. Thanks. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Oh, 
Hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skeeter, Harmin... Ah, 36. Here. Hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sandspoof was in the lead. Anybody there? I told you, we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. Keeping this little gold mine to myself. Hello. Oh, hi. Betting stop, please. Here you go. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha! What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. Glad I could help. found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Do it. 
Hello, Maxim. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Manny, let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny. Don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean... Kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. Waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. Not picking that up. This cask is sealed on the top, too. I think I could fit in there. Sleeping on the job. Ah, it's empty. Ooh. Ruben, where are you? Aha! Oh, mon dieu. The little nap. Hey, vous, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, more wine? Oh, I'm going to follow him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place.
I bet that thing's really easy to control if you're a big demon. Maybe if I had a forklift. Another one, I mean. Meal. It's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chowchilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along, just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it! You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh... Don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> Le numéro gagnant, le 8 noir, vraiment 8 black. 
Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please, place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it! That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they gonna close it for? Huh? Yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. There's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! Ensign! Ensign Arnold was just a kid. Oh, no. This can't be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here.
Gladys, what do these readouts mean? They were gonna blow up, Captain! And it's gonna hurt! Goddess, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Here comes one now! Amigo! Hey! I'm talking to you! Okay, that might not have been a sea monster, but it was pretty spooky. Looks like I let you down again. Oh, I think her days of use are over. I told you that name was bad luck. Hey, sorry. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny, not of the sea. Hang in there, Manu. According to our map, I think that's the pearl. I'd definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. That soul has already been reaped. A 
amigo. Huh? Ooh. Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Scare away sea, sea monsters, monsters yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm let it shine. Let it Scare shine. away sea monsters, Scare away yeah. Sea I'm monsters, gonna let it shine. I'm gonna Scare let away it shine. sea monsters, Scare yeah. Away sea I'm monsters, gonna let it shine. I'm let gonna let it shine. 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 I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Blah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker, that's the moon! Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. 
You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was, I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never, ever go to sleep. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damnedest thing. Glows like a lightning bug. It never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who, these guys? Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of... Hey, lay off! Let go! Let go! Let go! Get your own lamp, pal! Whatever happened to the code of the sea? Amigo! What? More survivors? I just passed another shipwreck not five minutes ago. Well... I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Hey, lay off! What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Benny, is that... The Pearl! Ooh -wee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich, 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 rich! Shh! Something's happening. Benny, what's going on? I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. I'm not going to... Hey, Chipito, go for a swim, will you? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. Gladys, go down there and talk demon talk to that octopus. Heck no. I'm scared. I'm staying up here with you. Ugh. Watch those hands, clams. Not quite as famous as the Pearl is the slimy, barnacle-covered old rock of legend. When I get that desperate for food, maybe. Ugh. When I get that desperate for food, maybe. Fuck 
on that edge of the world! Except the edge! <laughs> <laughs>